watching NBC4 News at 11. And tonight we begin with breaking news from Hollywood. Police in riot gear hit the streets there tonight to break up a crowd. Hundreds of people apparently upset because they were turned away from an invitation-only party and a movie premiere at Grauman's Chinese Theater. Angry fans climbed the street, forcing police to shut down famous Hollywood Boulevard. As fans clashed with police, innocent bystanders were also cut up in all of it. And we're just now learning about the arrests and the damage that was done. We have team coverage for you tonight in Hollywood. NBC 4's Beverly White and Kim Baldonado were there for it all. Let's begin right now with Beverly. Beverly. Well, Colleen, it was a private movie screening, and the crowd may have doubled in size when an entertainer featured in the movie tweeted about hosting a block party right here on the boulevard, and it resulted in a rollout by the LAPD, the likes of which the city hasn't seen in years. Using the patrol car like a trampoline is how one witness described the vandals captured on her daughter's camera when management locked patrons inside a Hollywood coffee shop for their own safety. Mayhem erupted outside Grumman's Chinese Theater where partygoers say DJ Cascade planned a street jam in conjunction with the crowd attending a screening of the Electric Daisy Carnival movie inside. There was a free concert going on tonight and too many people showed up and it got too hectic, everyone was getting crazy, so they shut it down. Exactly, and they shouldn't have shut it down. So they called that an unlawful gathering, so the police came and warned everybody and gave them a five minute warning to clear out. And it got crazy, people were fighting and rioting, and so the police came and started clearing everyone out and everybody started running down the street. And it got pretty scary over here, we had to bring down our doors and pull out our guests inside. Police shut down Hollywood Boulevard as far west as La Brea, leaving visitors trapped and unable to access parking lots or the red light metro train station. You could see the police running, shooting beanbags, and uh, they told us we had to go out the back. Plenty of people were detained by the LAPD, including this woman trying to walk to her car. Officers deployed non-lethal weapons and arrested countless others. The exact numbers and criminal charges pending. They were um, uh, agitated, angry, refusing to cooperate with the officers. We tried to get them back onto the sidewalk. That didn't happen. Uh, they refused to leave. Next thing you know, we started getting reports of our police cars being jumped on and damaged and destroyed. Well, late tonight, the police department confirmed that three patrol cars were vandalized and two people were arrested on suspicion of felony vandalism. Reporting live in Hollywood, I'm Beverly White, NBC4 News. All right, Beverly, and this is a live picture from News Chopper 4 right now over Hollywood Boulevard. The LAPD opened the uh, boulevard just about an hour ago. As you can see, still a lot of traffic uh, in terms of people and debris in the area. And we're really just learning the extent of what happened there tonight. NBC4's Kim Baldonado has been out there all night talking to people and getting a close-up look for us. Kim. Colleen, those involved tell me things really seem to get out of control when a well-known DJ took to social media to announce a free concert without taking into consideration you can't just fill up a public street with fans and not expect problems. LAPD on motorcycles and on foot clearing the famed Hollywood Boulevard after fans of DJ Cascade get out of control. Uh, I got here at 6 o'clock. That's when Cascade was supposed to DJ outside the EDC movie premiere. It was a premiere for the Electric Daisy Carnival Experience, a movie about the concert and rave parties held at the LA Coliseum. DJ Cascade announced on his Facebook page yesterday that he performed for free on Hollywood Boulevard outside Man's Chinese Theater where the premiere was being held. Cascade has more than 367,000 Facebook fans. There was so many people down here that we couldn't all fit on the sidewalk, so some people were in the streets, and then the cops ended up coming, and they were trying to like get people out of the streets, but there was really nowhere to go. They just wanted to do something special, and obviously they did it for free for the fans, and nothing's got to control. Like people were planking right in front of the cops, and it was a little bit like, like not nice. Ari and Rab came all the way from San Francisco to see the movie and hear Cascade, but instead found himself being pushed away by police. It was really wild. I felt like them bringing guns out, and a lot of people were frightened. About 7 o'clock, Cascade took to Twitter, where he has more than 90,000 followers, and begged those in Hollywood to chill now. I'm really concerned for everyone's safety. Please relax. Moments later, he tweeted, Everyone needs to go home now. Don't smoke. You were performed at the Electric Daisy Carnival. Two years in a row at the Coliseum. They invited uh, me to the premiere. I was very excited because I might even be in the movie. Who would know this? 
About 150 tourists were trapped inside Madame Tussauds when the chaos broke out. All of the businesses on the boulevard are closed, which this is peak summer trading. This is absolutely ridiculous. And also, it does nothing for Hollywood Boulevard. Colin Thomas of Madame Tussauds is really concerned about the image that this will leave with tourists who maybe this is their first time visiting Hollywood. He wants people to know this does not usually happen here. Reporting live from Hollywood, Kim Baldonado, NBC4 News. That's right, Hollywood Boulevard, that street that is known around the world. Now, as we told you, Hollywood Boulevard is open once again right now. But earlier this evening, we got some pretty remarkable video from News Chopper 4. You can uh, see the size of the crowd here, a large number of police up and down the boulevard. Police in formation trying to quiet the disturbance, which lasted about five hours. Once again, we're not sure yet how many arrests were made tonight or how many people were detained. We'll know more about that tomorrow morning, but for now it is over, and Hollywood Boulevard, as we say, is now open again. We've got a lot more on what happened tonight, including photos and video over on our website, NBCLA.com, and we'll also have more information tomorrow morning on Today in LA, beginning at 4.30 a.m. Another big story here tonight, this one on 